What's going on, Brian Tong here, and welcome to the Apple Buy for everything inside the world of Apple, plus my killer Black Friday deals worth paying attention to, so let's get to it. Now, a new job posting by Apple reveals that they are looking for engineers experienced with 3D graphics, virtual reality, and augmented reality. Now, Apple is specifically looking for developers to help build high-performance apps that integrate with virtual reality systems for prototyping and user testing, according to the job post. Now, we can all pretty much guess the new platform will end up being IVR or IVAR. IVAR? Get it? Okay, no. Now, this isn't the first mention of the Big A dabbling with virtual reality. A patent was filed by the Big A about a year ago showcasing their own head-mounted display system for viewing entertainment or playing video games, and even mentioned the idea of a fingerprint or retina scan and voice print analysis to identify users. Now, they were just awarded the patent for the headset in September of this year, and is there any coincidence with the timing of everything? Maybe. We've also seen 3D UI patents in the past for iPhone, and a few weeks ago, we talked about a report claiming that Apple was developing their own glassless 3D tech for the next upcoming iPhone. VR still has a long ways to go, but there's clearly momentum around it from multiple companies, including the Oculus Rift team and Sony, so we'll continue to track this story. All right, if we fast forward to the future, maybe we could eventually see that virtual reality tech for a 4K movie experience. Well, the hardware is all there after the developers of the Walter app discovered the current iPhone 6 with its A8 processor is capable of playing 4K video without any problem. Now, the feature hasn't been unlocked yet, and there's really no advantage for users right now because the iPhone doesn't have a 4K screen. But bottom line, the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus are capable of playing 4K video, even if the file sizes are pretty big, and it's a sign we might see future mobile hardware support sooner rather than later. Okay, I'm still waiting for my iPad Pro something, anything. Again, I know I'm not in the majority. Apple will need something to really help invigorate its tablet sales. According to the latest report from IDC, worldwide tablet growth is expected to have significantly declined with just a 7.2% year-over-year growth in 2014 compared to a 52.5% in 2013. We know there's cheaper alternatives that continue to hurt Apple's worldwide market share that dropped under 23% this year compared to 29% last year, and people really just aren't upgrading their tablet every year or two. It's more like three or four. All right, Black Friday might already be here, depending on when you're watching this, and a lot of Black Friday sales are already going on right now, but if you're looking for some great deals this year, my advice is you do not go to an Apple store for those deals. See, Apple is offering $50 iTunes gift cards when you buy most iPhones and iPads, and $100 iTunes gift cards for Macs, but no actual cash off the retail price, just iTunes cards. So don't fall for that. And here's my top Black Friday deals for you guys to check out. All right, so if you're looking for iPad deals, Target's doing a $140 Target gift card when you buy a 16 gig iPad Air 2 that's regularly $499 and $100 with the Target gift card with an original iPad Air or an iPad Mini 2. That's basically like cash that can be used to buy anything in, yes, the Target. All right, Sam's Club is doing a $99 iPhone 6 16 gig with a two-year contract that beats out anyone out there, but you have to be a member, and there will only be 15 units per store, but still a pretty killer deal. And quite possibly the best deal of all, Best Buy's MacBook Air, it's a core i5, 1.4 gigahertz, 11-inch laptop, will be selling for $780. It's really the best deal we've seen on an 11-inch anywhere, and also they're selling the 13-inch model for just $1050. And my personal sleeper deal for you is an Apple TV, just go to the actual Apple online store, go to the refurbished section, and get one for $75 with free shipping that has the same warranty as a brand new one out of the box. So there's just a few things to help you save some cash this Black Friday. All right, another short and sweet show. That's going to do it for this week. Email me anytime at theapplebyte at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. We're collecting another viewer feedback show, and we want to hear everything from you, good and bad. And come on, I could take it. And remember to enjoy the holidays with your friends and family. And really, there's something that all of us can be thankful for. I know it sounds corny, but it's true. So thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you all next time for another bite of the apple. Bye. -bye.